Hi everyone, I'm Oliver from Lentus.com and in this tutorial we are going to see uh, how to use the Scheme Modifier. Scheme Modifier has been added in latest versions of Blender, it's going to be released officially into the 2.64 version uh, scheduled for this month and it helps us when creating base meshes to sculpt later. So it, it, it based the creation of meshes, uh, if you know ZBrush, and the C spheres is something similar, right? Because uh, just creating vertices and extruding them, we can create uh, a base mesh out of them. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to see how to use them uh, and which options we have for creating these meshes. So let's get started. First, I'm going to create a plane and this plane will be our mesh, our, our mesh, the mesh that we are going to apply the scheme modifier into. So we want it to be, for starting, just a vertex. So select all the vertices of the plane, press Alt-M and at center. So now we only have one vertex. Uh, let's extrude it with E, set, and here we have our first base mesh. We're going to use it into this. Now. Uh, before using the scheme modifier, we uh, we are going to create in this tutorial uh, some kind of humanoid base match. So for this uh, humanoid, we know that we want a mirror effect because we are going to model only one arm and one leg, but we want it to have uh, the, the size of the body, of course. <laughs> so uh, let's add first a mirror modifier, okay, uh, in the x-axis, of course, this axis. And let's go here and extrude this one. Okay, so we can see the effect. There we go. Now, after the mirror modifier, we are going to add the skin modifier. And here we have the base mesh that it creates. Now, uh, it's creating a mesh based on the vertex, uh, as you can see, and give them uh, some kind of thickness. All right, what we want here is to see what we are doing in the in the original mesh because the original mesh looks like this and it's a little difficult to select stuff if we have this uh, mesh over it so we can disable this uh, one probably you already have it disabled I think it's disabled by default in Blender but uh, I always have it enabled so disable it and we can see inside that mesh alright so now uh, it's a little uncomfortable to watch the model like this so let's add, for now, a subdivision surface over. Like two subdivisions, there we go. And uh, here the mesh, as you can see, is not really um, symmetrical, but uh, we'll handle that uh, later, hopefully. Because uh, sometimes the scheme modifier generates this uh, kind of uh, not symmetrical parts in the topology, but uh, unfortunately, some, sometimes it's a little difficult to handle, but we, we will try later. So, let's continue. As you can see, uh, it generates the mesh as we model, right? Just with vertices and with um, um, edges, because if we have ed uh, faces, let's uh, take a look. I'm going to generate a face from these vertices. And you can see that it ignores the face and just take the edges. All right. This is pretty useful also because sometimes uh, we want a structure like a metal structure for a building or something like that to look uh, to have thickness. And this modifier helps us uh, achieve that effect. Right. Of course, without the subsurface. Now we have the option to come to a vertex and select its thickness with Control A we can scale it up or down. And also after pressing Ctrl A, we can press X or Y to define the axis that we want to scale this vertex into. Right, so for now, uh, let's, uh, let's forget that and keep modeling and later we will see all these options here, what they mean and what they do. So let's go ahead and create the arm. Here we want our legs. You see this circle, we are going also to, to see what it is later. So I'm not going to create a, here a masterpiece <laughs> or a great character, it's just to, to show you how this works. Of course, if you go to a Blender Artist or 
some forum of like, like that, you will see that there are people that has created uh, a lot of great stuff only using the scheme modifier. So uh, it's possible to do it, not in this tutorial. <laughs> okay, and here we are going to have the mesh, uh, the, the head, sorry. I select these ones, we subdivide it. Uh, of course, here we can uh, use all the tools that we normally use for modeling. So it's nice. We have these ones, and these ones we want to scale them to have some kind of nice head. There we have the neck. Okay. Now let's go for the hands. Here I'm not creating uh, awesome hands, just going to show you how you can create some uh, fingers. So as you can see, the, the, the topology is generated on the fly as we model or move the vertices. So you need to do it in a way that it doesn't generate weird stuff. For example, if you see something like this, uh, you better move the, the vertex until you find a nice position for it. Like this looks fine. And now from here you can start adding your fingers. And as you can see, it looks a little weird, like sausages or something. So you can start moving vertices around until you find the correct way. Now you can select these three, you can select uh, several vertices at a time, and with Ctrl A, we can scale them to make them look more like fingers. All right. So now let's take a look at the options we have in this modifier. First we have here the option uh, that is uh, disabled right now because we are in the edit mode which is the create armature options. This will create from this uh, from this mesh that we are creating it will create an armature that allows us to uh, move and uh, well, let's add here this and uh, move our mesh and pose it. Right, mm, Pretty similar to the C-spheres in ZBrush. All right. Of course, that uh, armature we can use it later for the final character, but uh, well, it's not uh, probably intended for that. But uh, anyway, uh, we will see how to use it later. The branch smoothing is an option that uh, will um, set up the way in which uh, branches are being smooth. A branch is a vertex that has more than two edges coming out from it like uh, this cross here, the fingers, or here, the chest. All right, so let's see here at the fingers how this option affects it. As you can see, it's like more or less smooth. Here in this model, it's not uh, having great effects, but uh, in some meshes, probably it, uh, it marks the difference between a bad topology with weird uh, stuff to a better one, all right? Now, smooth shading, of course, it uh, makes the, the, the faces not to be generated flat, but smooth. Right? We are going to let it like this now. Now, mark loose and clear loose is something that I, going to, that I want to show you. Uh, a loose vertex is a vertex that won't be computed into the skin modifier. It will pass through it and will join this one to this one directly. And this one won't have an actual effect on the generated topology. Let's uh, see how it works. Mark loose, after selecting it we mark it loose and you can see that the generated topology goes from this one to this one and this one even if we scale it with Ctrl A won't have any effect on the generated topology, right? Which is exactly what we want. Now we can clear it uh, whenever we want with clear loose and also we can select several ones and mark them as loose as you can see. Nice. Now, mark root will define uh, where the topology starts to be generated. I don't understand that uh, uh, very well, but I think that uh, the, the geometry is made uh, with some rotations and all that stuff uh, coming from the root bone, right, which now is this one. If we change it, sometimes it changes how the topology is being created. Let's uh, take a look. 
Marcus root and you can see that now the topology is more symmetrical before it was uh, generated from here so you can see that the geometry here is like coming from that part but if we mark this one as root it's more symmetrical all right also it defines the root bone of the skeleton that will be generated with the create armature option all right now uh equalize ready okay this is a pretty weird name <laughs> i mean it's uh not very intuitive but it uh, have a nice you and, and useful uh, effect so we can select one for example and scale it only into one axis like this one and suddenly we say like oh no but i want it to be uh you know uniform in both axes so you can go here equalize ready and it's kind of a square again and we can scale it with control a normally and put it right where we want it now this one we can probably scale it like this and uh, we can solve some problems here before going to the next step right in this tutorial I'm going to show you the workflow for actually going to to a model uh, okay so here you can see that <clears throat> just generated some generating some more vertices you can arrange uh, problems in the in the mesh okay all right so let's call it uh, done right just for this uh, for the purpose of this tutorial I think is enough so we can take it place it on the ground and now let's see the options first we have here create armature so we are going to create the armature but before we are going to apply the mirror because if we create it right now we are going to create just one side of the uh, armature because it's the one that the scheme modifier is working on so first we are going to apply this one that's it now this uh, this scheme modifier this is the mesh that we created is uh, symmetrical and all the stuff so we can go ahead and create an armature from it there we go you can see that here in the root where we had selected the root of the of the skeleton it created another uh, bone there to be the root now as you can see we can already m mostly animate it <laughs> we could animate this one but what we want here uh, is to now apply the, the the scheme modifier because right now this is only moving the vertices of the base mesh not the actual generated topology right and uh, also we can't sculpt this one because it's being generated on the fly by the scheme modifier all right so it's not uh, actually useful right so uh, here the symmetry axis is just to help the scheme modifier to understand how the symmetry is working in the model because it doesn't generate uh, uh, geometry for us in a symmetrical way like if, if we create a model uh, or a vertex in the left side it will go into replicating to the right side nothing like that that's why we used the mirror modifier so here what we are going to do is to apply this modifier right now the armature works uh, sadly m mostly sadly the same not sadly the same but, but mostly and uh, but it deforms the final mesh but the final mesh is nothing like this the final mesh is this very cubical guy but <laughs> is enough for now um, so this is what's happening okay so you can start animating already and say like hey I'm Oliver from letters.com <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm having fun with this. So uh, what you should do now is to apply a multi-resolution modifier and uh, subdivide it a couple of times. So now we have exactly the same that we have before with the subdivision modifier, but now uh, we can actually sculpt this one. Of course, we can move this like this, or this. Uh, we, we should make it in a, in a symmetrical way, all right? But uh, <clears throat> we should put the arms in T. Like this is like uh, 60, 60 degrees. Well, I, I, this is not the purpose of the tutorial. So uh, 
you to better try to create the model into a really uh, T-shape or something <clears throat> that is going to be useful then when sculpting. For now, let's sculpt it. So let's go to the sculpt mode and you can see that we can start the sculpting. Let's put the symmetry on the x-axis and just start the sculpting. So as you can see, it's a really easy and fast way to generate your base mesh. Okay, it's really nice. And uh, as I said, uh, this is a really basic and weird uh, model, what I did here right now. But uh, if you go in, if you go to some uh, to some forum and see what people is doing with this modifier, is really amazing, really amazing. So if your version of Blender doesn't have this uh, yet, uh, you can just download some uh, newest version from uh, uh, graphical.org. But uh, anyway, in a couple of weeks, all the versions of Blender should have this one because is uh, Blender two point. 64 will be released uh, this month if everything goes as scheduled so uh, yeah I think that I, I don't need to show you anymore that this is uh, a sculptable mesh <laughs> you of course you can sculpt over it is now a normal mesh and the scheme modifier is not here anymore so uh, I hope this tutorial uh, helped you uh, to understand what the scheme modifier does and the 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 useful stuff that it has generating the the armatures and all this uh, is really useful is really fast to generate base meshes that you can sculpt and uh, yeah I, I hoped it was uh, useful so see you in the next tutorial and happy blending <laughs>